Hey everyone, my name is Alina and I'm your Russian teacher. Today we're gonna have a very informal Russian lesson. I'm gonna teach you 15 the most common slang words that Russian natives use all the time. If you're a fan of beautiful academic and formal speech, I'm sorry, you're not gonna like today's lesson. Slang words are a huge part of our everyday life. And no matter if we want that or not, if we like that or not, they are everywhere. And it's impossible to hide from them or not to use them in our life. So let's learn 15 the most common Russian informal words. First, you need to understand that in Russian we have a lot of slang words that come from English. You can hear a lot such words as really, nice, mood, good. All these words obviously we took from English. But in today's lesson I decided to choose for you 15 different words because you all know English and it won't be really interesting and educational if we take English words and I pronounce them with Russian accent here. So let's see what I've got from you. And the first word, I use it a lot and you can hear how many people use this word. That's the word круто. Круто. Круто, да? You can use it everywhere in the same situations as you use cool or great in English. The second word can be a noun, can be a verb, so the word stop, stop or the verb стебаться. Стебаться just to make fun of someone, so you can say это шутка, я просто стебусь над тобой, you see, я стебусь, стебаться, or the same это шутка, это стёб. The next one, also we have a noun, a verb, the verb Тусоваться. Тусоваться comes from туса. Туса equals вечеринка. Мы сегодня на тусе. The word number four actually comes from English, but here we added Russian words, that's why I didn't consider it as completely English. That's the combination Fano, doing something for fun. Same logic, same use as in English, where you want to say, I did that for fun. Я сделала это по фану. As Russian people love using diminutives, we can say по фанчику. По фану or по фанчику. Я здесь чисто по фану. The next word has two meanings. That's the verb залететь. The first one, when you drop in unexpectedly. Я залетел к ним на тусу. So you see, in one sentence I used two slang words. And another mean of the word залететь, that's to get pregnant. Also unexpectedly. Его девушка залетела. Я забеременела, это называлось залетела в 17 лет. Then, let's take a little break. And we're gonna have a quiz for these five words for you to remember them better. You will see sentence and in this sentence you will have one missing word. According to the meaning, you will have to put in this sentence one of these five words that I just taught you. And the sentence is Он любит <laughs> над другими людьми. What would you put here? Correct? Он любит стебаться над другими людьми. Then, how would you say for fun in Russian? Correct? That would be по фану. And listen to this phrase and try to understand it. Они тусовались всю ночь. Они тусовались всю ночь. Молодец. And now let's move on. The word number six, that's the word прикол. Прикол or прикалываться. Also, we can make a verb from it. I personally love this word, прикол. Прикол is the same as шутка, but we don't use it only as шутка. It can be also as a reaction. Reaction like interesting, that's interesting. For example, you're telling me some story and I'm answering прикол. Вот это прикол! 
Then the word number seven, I already had a short video about this word. That's the word kaif. Kaif or verbs, kaifavat, or even we have an adjective kaifovi. Kaifovi meaning cool, классный, крутой. That would be also kaifovi. Then we have a word figna. Figna, just a nonsense. That's a good word that you can use without any doubt of being rude or saying a bad word. So I can say, это фигня. Ничего серьезного. Then the next word, it'll be a shortened version of another normal word. The normal word is человек. So we can say чел. Чел for dude. Чел ты, чел ты. I know that in English you use it a lot, so try to imagine how much we use it in Russian. Just chill. Что ты делаешь? Вот такой chill. And the last word also has a lot of different variations. That can be бабки, бабло, бабосики. Бабки in Russian means money. And all these different words that I gave you. Бабки, бабло, бабосики, баблишка many different forms. And let's practice again, a little bit. Again, you see the sentence and try to complete it. Не переживай, это все. That's correct. Не переживай, это все фигня. Then, try to remember what is прикол in English. Correct? Прикол is a joke. A joke or reaction when you want to say cool, nice. And the last question, what slang word we formed from the word человек? Correct, that's the word чел. And last five words. The word number 11, that's the word огонь. Огонь, that's a normal word, you all probably know it, that's fire. But we use a lot огонь as in another reaction like awesome, cool. So I can say, wow, огонь, это платье просто огонь. So that can describe technically anything cool or amazing. Огонь. Огонь. Then the next word is лютый, an adjective. I love this word, I use it a lot in combination with other words. Here I can give you лютый холод, so it's like extreme cold, but you can combine it with other words. The next one is the word хавчик. Хавчик is just food. It's a very slang word, very informal, so don't try to use it in some formal situations. The next one is the word зачет. Зачет. That's another example of another reaction that we can give. Зачет is also like cool. Зачет or зачетный. Зачетное платье. Зачетная машина. You see? In Russian, we can create different words, adjectives, nouns, verbs, and we can use it really in many, many different situations. So, зачет, that's one of the words that we can use. Also, it can be like, got it, I got you, зачет. And also, it can be like approval, зачет. And the last word, I use it also a lot, that's the verb затариться. It's like to stock up on something. So it's not necessary that you need all this stuff that you're buying, but you're just doing it for the future. For example, let's go back in past and we can say this word. Когда начался коронавирус, люди затаривались туалетной бумагой. Remember these days when everyone was buying things that they don't really need. Для начала, в местном супермаркете можно за недорого затариться продуктами. Okay, and let's practice a little bit. Я fill in this sentence. Люди думают, что в России всегда мороз. Correct? Лютый. Everyone thinks that Russia is very 
cold. But no, I live in the south of Russia and believe me, even November here is quite warm. Last week it was like 25 degrees, so believe me, it's not that cold in Russia. Then the next word, what is Havchuk? Correct? That's the slang word for food. And now you see these five letters and try to compose the word that I gave you, one of the words, out of these letters. And what do you get? Correct? That's the word зачет. What does it mean? Yes, it means got it, cool, approval, молодец, зачет. And that's it. You see, you've learned 15 different slang words, and if you want to impress some Russians that you know these words, you can do it now. But obviously, if you are at work or in some formal meetings, don't do it. People want to won't understand you. I know that many people don't like using these words and don't like hearing these words, but we should understand that we live in the 21st century, we have internet, and all these slang words are there. We use them all the time, so it's impossible to hide from them. At least you should know what they mean. If you don't like them, obviously you are free not to use them, but if you want to know what they mean, here you can learn them. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe to my channel, and write in the comments which slang word you liked the most. Or maybe you know another slang words that you really like and that you really use, and you can write it down in the comments. It'll be really interesting for me to read it. Subscribe to my channel and learn Russian with me.